Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song. I'm gonna move this large box of ephemera pieces. I have been doing some major cleaning out in here again. I collect so many things that it can quickly become overwhelming. And sometimes I have to just pare back, pare down, way down. So when I was going through all of these boxes of ephemera, I just couldn't help but start another small journal. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with this one. A lot of the things in here are nature related. There's a lot of collage in here. And staining, distressing. There are some beautiful playing cards that La Chiron sent to me. I love these so much. Really pretty old colors and just the dresses, really pretty. There's a lot more room in here to work. There's a random sparkle or piece of glitter. And you can see in this journal, all of the pages are different sizes. I've done a lot of distressing on the edges. I will do more stamping and distressing as I go through this. It's just really fun to pull out a box of papers and pieces and get inspired to put something together. And it doesn't have to take very long. For example, this is eight pieces of paper that have been folded. And this is about a four by six, something like that. I wanted to add a few more pieces to the front of this and the first page, because I do want this to be really layered with a lot of collage and really pretty things. I've been trying to decide where to put the little wish stamp or a ticket, and I think I'm gonna put it right across the top of her head. So let's put that there. And then I want a third element, I think, to kind of balance the page out. This is a bit large, but I wondered if we could make a little postage stamp out of this. First, let's start on this side. I never have been the best at cutting perfectly straight. And let's go right here, here, and here. I'm gonna cut off just a tiny bit more. And let's distress the edges. I just want to take a black ink pen and maybe put a line here on the edge. Give it more a stampy look. 
and I might go around the outside of the stamp to do it really easy so I don't accidentally write on top of the stamp. It's very subtle, but it does give the stamp more of an outline. Let's take out the black ink and get this little postmark stamp. And we will do that right here. There, that's really cool. I like that. Oh, I do like that. We might add more. I'd love to do things like that. These little uh, cutouts were sent to me by Sandra, and I love these. Really, really pretty. So old fashioned. I like uh, I like the green in this one because it ties in with this page with the little jar of insects and a little bit of green leaf on that paper. So let's put her right in front there. I also have this really amazing piece of a certificate from the 1800s. It is a, like an identity certifying, somebody was certifying their identity, I think. And this person was a sailor, fair complexion, blue eyes. Uh, but that's, I only had a part of it. It's just something I found in some ephemera. I have scanned it. Um, you know, I hate to, I hate to mess it up but I feel like we buy these things to use them. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I'm determined in 2022 to really focus on the things that I love the most. Now, I don't think I like this on this page. I do like this. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that into place. One of the reasons things pile up here is that, you know, it's, it's hard to use things that are old, even if they're falling apart and not complete. We, some of us, I tend to just, you know, hold on to things thinking, oh, I've got to do this or do that. And then it just ends up sitting in a box and continuing to decay fall apart. So I'm just going to go ahead and enjoy some of these pieces. Now I do have some pieces of old ephemera that are complete and I think they're valuable even historically. So those things, I try to get them to where they do the most good or you know sell them to a collector or keep them put up in a way that will preserve them. Kind of like this here. Had a huge gathering with my family yesterday. Everyone came here, all of my children, all three of the grandchildren, uh, my sister, her family. I think we had 15, yes, 15 people. I feel like I need some color on the front of this. Jennifer sent me this paint and I love it. I appreciate it so much. I feel really, really fortunate. I'm very grateful. Let me find a brush. What's over here? Things that shouldn't be just sitting in water, I'm sure. Make some little paint marks here. I 
I love handwriting on things. Uh, and don't be afraid to use your handwriting. If you, if you think it's not good enough, it, it might really appeal to somebody else. Um, I always thought my handwriting was really sloppy, but the more I've written, the more I've sort of bonded with my handwriting. And uh, you know, some people will say, ooh, I love your handwriting. And I'm always shocked. So I'm gonna write, we've got wish here. Oh. I wrote with all your might. Wish with all your might. Just add a little bit of water around the edge of that. And I've got this watercolor pencil. I would sometimes dip my pencils into the water. I have not done that as much because one of you kind people left me a comment that over time it'll just destroy the pencil and that makes sense. Um, that color of pink is not my favorite. Let's see what else we can find. I don't know, it's pretty interesting though. And you know that we're gonna come back to this over and over again. We need some little charms out here. Wish with all your might. And dream with all your heart. Yeah. I don't know if I showed you the back. I like the back. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I'll be back really soon. Bye for now.